Let's go ahead and talk about type of various IT services. Internal customer facing services. Internal customer facing services are delivered to internal customers. Internal customers are part of my own organization. I as a IT service provider, provider is generally called IT department. Then IT department managing PC of finance department, human resource department or administration department. These three departments are my internal customer. As a IT service provider, I am going to provide IT services to another part of my own organization. This is called my internal customer and the services which I provide is called internal customer facing services. IT services that is that directly support a business process managed by another business unit. For example, uh, my company has various business unit. There is a, a banking business unit. There is an insurance business unit. There is an airline business unit. They have their own customer. Banking business unit has a customer like Bank of America or American Access Bank. Insurance business unit has their customers like uh, Aviva or Norwich Union. Airline business unit has their customer like Boeing or Airbus. They provide services to their customer. We manage their PC, we deliver services to these business unit so that they can serve their customer. So this is called internal customer facing services. External customer facing services are the services which are delivered to outside organization. For example, IT is delivering services to some company and making money from there, charging them fees for delivering services. This is called external customer facing services. How they are different than the internal customer facing? Internal customer facing services are delivered to another part of same organization. External customer facing services are delivered outside organization to different companies. Supporting services. Supporting services are the services which are not used by my customers directly. But these services are very much required for my customer to use other services. For example, my customer in a banking example using net banking application. Net banking application is not going to work unless hosting is working, firewall is working, bandwidth is working and various other services are working. So then these services are called supporting services. They support core service to be delivered to the customer. Supporting service can also be classified as enabling services which we saw in the previous slide. 